Thanks to God whose word was spoken in the deed that made the earth. His the voice that called a nation. His the fires that tried her worth. God has spoken. Praise him for his open word. Happy Sabbath and welcome to the Countdown to the End evangelistic series live from Portmore, St. Catherine. I'm Daniel Pasley. Amen. Happy Sabbath. Good morning, Daniel. I'm Lizeth Martin. And yes, the Seventh-day Adventist Church is in Brayton and Portmore, Hellshire, Gregory Park, and 10 city districts are delighted to join the Central Jamaica Conference in welcoming you to this. Let's say it together, brethren, count down to the end. I heard you, evangelistic series. Daniel, Sabbath number three. Sabbath <laughs> number three, and I must say a special welcome to those who are watching us on CJC online, whether on YouTube, on Facebook, on the various platforms of churches across the conference, on Blessed TV and NCU TV. We are global. We are worldwide. Happy Sabbath. We are happy to have you. Praise the Lord. So as we're counting up and counting down, we know that you are anticipating a wonderful Sabbath school, which will be conducted by the Hellshire District of Churches. Just before we rejoice in music led by the Newland Praise Team, let us stand for prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you our all. We give you our worship. We give you our offering this morning. And we're asking that your name be magnified and praised and glorified as we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Sabbath, everyone. We are here in the sanctuary on this blessed Sabbath day. And because the Lord has been good to us, we are going to hail the Sabbath morning. Our first hymn for this morning is hymn 394, Far From All Care, hymn 394.
from home. Him four three nine. from our old hymnal, M553, M553. Oh, oh, oh. 
for this morning is hymn 442, How Sweet Are the Tidings, hymn 442. Gently he'd say 
Sabbath, everyone. The scripture reading is taken from St. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. I will read in your hearing. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, he may be also. Here ending the portion of God's holy word. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let God's people everywhere who are able to stand, stand with me as we petition the throne of grace. Let us pray. Eternal God and our righteous everlasting Father, we are indeed grateful, dear Father, for you bringing us out into your courts this morning. Lord, it is not anything good that we have done, but it is because of your goodness and you bid us come. Come and worship you on this your blessed holy Sabbath day. Lord, we thank you for this privilege. But Lord, even as we come, 
we recognize that we are unworthy. We have sinned, God. We have come short of your glory. We have done the things that we should not have done. And Lord, we have left the things that we should have done undone. Have mercy upon us, we pray. Forgive us, O oh God, for our feebleness and our peevish ways. Lord, help us to understand that we dare not make it without you. So this morning, as I come in your presence and pray on behalf of your people, take everything that is unlike thee from me, O oh God, and may my prayer go up as sweet incense before you. Father, we want to thank you this morning for life. We want to thank thee for your provision. Lord, spiritually, Father, what would we do without you? Lord, we thank thee for raiment and shelter and food, dear God, that you provide for us on a daily basis. Lord, sometimes we do not know where the, the means is coming from, dear Father. But, oh God, in due time, you present them to us, and we want to thank you. Lord, we want to thank you for the plan of salvation. For while we were yet sinners, Lord, you died for us. And as long as we come to the point where we recognize that there's no other who can save, dear Jesus, help us to humble ourselves in your sight and let your Holy Spirit use us. God, we pray, we give thee thanks for those who have come to you since the uprising of this 10th cathedral. Lord, we ask that you would bless them. Keep them in your keeping care, Lord. And, oh God, we ask that if, they get, if and when they get discouraged, remind them that you never will leave them alone. God, may as they come into the different churches, may we nurture them, may we care for them, may we show them love. And, Lord, may we introduce to them the pathway of discipleship so that they will go and, and find, um, be fishers of men. Oh, Lord, we, we, we praise thee for the evangelist who has allowed himself to be used by you night after night. God, continue to empower him. Continue to bless him. Continue to be with his family. And, oh, God, when the last person on earth who is left to answer your call. May you all, Father, just call us one and all into your kingdom. We pray this morning for the sick and the afflicted, those who are online and cannot make it to your house. Lord, touch them in a special way today. Touch your people everywhere over the earth remotest bound, online wherever they are viewing from. May somebody cry out today, I yield. I cannot hold it out any longer. And oh God, may heaven rejoice today. I pray for those who are halting between two opinions, Lord. Be with them, strengthen them, encourage them. Help them to know that you will not bring them this far and leave them. But you will continue to be their God. Lord, the waters will be troubled. Let your Holy Spirit continue to guide your people. Oh, Lord, touch the sick and the afflicted, I pray today. And may at last, oh God, when all is over and your kingdom shall come, may none of us under this 10th cathedral or on listening online or your people anywhere that worship you today be missing from your kingdom. Father, I pray that you would forgive whatsoever I fail of asking thee. Grant it unto us according to your will, because we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and our soon-coming King. Let the people say, Amen. Amen. The King is coming. He's coming one day soon. And we ought to be ready. Good morning, everyone. For, the first, for those who are coming for the first time here at the tent, and for those online, the first time visitor, there is another way that we 
we salute you each Sabbath morning. We say happy Sabbath. Sister Stacy, yes, let's Sister try Bolo. that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And happy Sabbath. happy Sabbath. Welcome. 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 Indeed, indeed, it is a pleasure. It is indeed a great joy that we would have been able to gather because the Word of God reminds us that in the presence of the Lord, Lord. Sister Baruch, there is indeed joy forevermore. Amen, amen. This morning, we are looking at a simply, simple theme. Going home. Going home. Going home. May I see the hands of those who are preparing to go home when the Lord comes. Amen. Amen. Look at those hands, sister. Indeed, it is indeed a good. But is it our home here in Portmore? Certainly not. Oh, yes. Sister Stacy. Yes. You've been at the office all day. It's been a very hectic day. You had meetings to attend, reports to do, and it really has been a bit of you know, troubling time for you. Right. Nevertheless, you were able to finish it on time. Yes. It's now 10 minutes to five, and you're preparing, you have cleared your desk, and you're preparing to leave. Share with us some of the thoughts that are going through your mind as you think about going home. I had that thought only yesterday evening, Sister Baru, as I would have been preparing to leave the office, and after you would have gone through a rigorous, hard, pressing day, there is a sense of joy, a relief. You feel ecstatic to know that you are now at the end of a tireless work day and you have the joy of heading straight to your beautiful home. Amen. Well, Sister Stacy, as wonderful as those thoughts are, nothing can be compared to that place that God has gone to prepare for us and the feelings that we have thinking of home. As we would have been listening to the scripture reading, Sister Baru, we were reminded by the gentleman who read that the Lord has gone to prepare a place for us. And he has given us the assurance, church, that he will come again and do what? And receive us unto himself that where he is, we may be also. We will now be hearing from one of our sisters. Sister Williams. Sister Regina Williams, who will share her joy of what it means to go home. Sister Williams, we invite you to share. Happy Sabbath, brethren. Happy Sabbath, brethren. Happy Sabbath, brethren. Amen. That sounds better. No, I've been given two minutes. I'm going to try and condense six months' worth of testimony in one. <laughs> I suffered a heat stroke last year, early last year. And I went down. I collapsed in the house. And... <laughs> I, I saw Jesus and I saw death standing before me. <laughs> and you know who I chose though? Jesus. And when I went down and I couldn't breathe with the little breath that I had, I said, Father, wash me. Even now, wash me and cleanse me. Yes. Brethren, when you're down there, when you're facing death, you know, the house, the car, the bank account can't help you. It can't help you. You got dead and left it. So guess what you have to do? Make it right. Prepare in your heart who side you're going to be on. I chose the Lord's side. And when I thought it was this, I, I, I call everybody name I could that come to me. I call the brethren. Here, worldwide. I don't know them, but I call them. And brethren. I, when I realized I'm still here, I said, Lord, if it's not my time, raise me up. Before I could say, raise me up, I was sitting up. My feet, my, my, one side of my body was that, that way, the other, my ankles the other way. And I sat up and I turned my ankle to the direction that the rest of my body was in. But I couldn't get up. A long story short, my husband, we got in touch with my husband and he came and took care of business. I couldn't walk. <laughs> Lord of mercy. And let me tell you something, the Lord raised me up. When I went to the doctor, Dr. Levy told me he has had at least two patients who died from heat stroke. I am still here. Amen. The work not done. It's, look here, since COVID, I've been to church only one time when, the, when this, the, um, COVID was going on. I had to stay home. 
But brethren, me tell the Lord the other day, so me can't, me not like still, me want to come out. And here I am. I ask the Lord to increase my faith. Be careful what you ask the Lord for. Because when I am telling him increase my faith, me never did know say I'm going to make me experience that. Come close to it. Just a breath away. But here I am. Deliverance come. The Lord has delivered me. Deliverance come. And brethren, no matter what you're going through, look here. Hold on to Jesus. Don't let him go. You can't see what he's doing, but he's working behind the scene. Deliverance come. Me can say, deliverance come. And all the songs the praise team was singing was for me. This is my morning. And I'm here to say, to God be the glory. Great and wonderful things he has done.
father's house, to my father's house, to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house, where there's joy, joy, joy. Jesus is the way. Welcome to CJC Jewels, our joyful children's church, right here at Central Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, where there is joy, joy, joy. Invite all your friends to join us, yes, right now, and every Sabbath morning at 9.30. Oh, yes. And we will have a good time with Jesus. Who are the little jewels with me this morning? Jordan, Matthew, Erica, Michaela. Welcome, little ones. All of this quarter, our theme is Family of God. One more time, little ones. Family of God. And our topic is I've Got Roots. I wonder, why do plants need roots, little ones? Plants need roots because roots help them to stay firm in the ground. Excellent! Michael. Plants need roots because when they are stuck, they don't blow up from the ground. My little ones are brilliant. What do you have to say, Matthew? Roots help the water. Roots help plants to get water. Okay, Jordan, what do you think? Roots are the base of trees to help them stay down in the ground. Excellent! My little ones are brilliant. What do you think, boys and girls? Ask mommy, ask daddy to help you to write it in the chat. Why plants need roots? Well, I am thinking about my family. Who is the root of my family? Hmm, little ones, who would you say is the root of your family? My father. Anybody else? Same answer. Everybody's saying daddy? Yes. All right, let us say hello, daddy. Hello, daddy. Today, we are giving thanks for our fathers. Thank you, Jesus, for our daddies. Daddies are strong like roots. Well, happy Sabbath, little ones. Help me say happy Sabbath. Happy, happy Sabbath, Sabbath, little ones. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for another Sabbath day. We ask for your blessings on all of the boys and girls and let us all say, Amen. And now it's time for Jewel's Showcase.
Happy Sabbath, everyone. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. <laughs> Welcome to Exploration Station. And today we'll be talking about roots. I'm Auntie Daintian, and here with me today are my friends, and we'll be talking about roots and what happens when you have good roots. So we have the evidence of it right here. We have some fruits. Guys, what fruits are these? Lemon, passion fruit, and this is a big dragon fruit. Now, boys and girls, when we think about roots, who in the family comes to mind? Teddy. Father. Very good. Yes, yes. Right? Dad comes to mind. And now we'll be putting Daddy on the family tree. right there in the family. He is the anchor and we know that roots are like anchors in a family and he keeps the family together. Okay, do you want to try the dragon fruit guys? 
Yes. yes. Okay. Isn't this pretty, boys and girls? Look at the rich pink color. Okay, each one of 